We don't get it. We don't get it. We don't. We don't. We don't get it. This is P and we're back with another video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe now. That way you can stay up to date with all my latest unboxing and review videos. And today is going to be a comparison video for July the 21st, 2019. So not this past Saturday, not yesterday, but last week, um, actually July the 12th, the Jordan 8 Aquas released. Um, and this is the white colorway, the white leather, not the black. This was released in 2016, I think. Um, the OG colorway. But this is the first time they've released since 2007. So we knew about it all year long. You stayed up to date to future releases. You saw images for the summer, and it's a cool shoe for the summer for women and men and um, kids or whatnot, and also for back to school. So let's go ahead and get into this um, quick review. Already um, uploaded the unboxing video. Thanks to everybody that commented, checked it out, shared it, and maybe if you subscribe. And this is gonna be a comparison video with another Jordan 8. It's actually one of my grails. Grails in the sneaker lingo. Um, sneaker world means like the greatest, your favorite pair, you know. And just a little quick um, introduction before we get into these kicks. Uh, we're talking about Michael Jordan, the greatest of all time, the GOAT, greatest of all time. Um, with the uh, Chicago Bulls. 1984 um, to the end of his career, came out of retirement several times, got six rings, and every year he released the Jays. So with the number eight Jordan that we're looking at today, that was released in 1993. So now you got retros all the time. Um, you even still got new releases once a year, but like every week you got a Jordan retro just about. But back then you was getting that Jordan retro once a year, plus whatever OG colorways. When we mentioned OG, original colorways that he actually wore. So neither one of these shoes are original colorways that Michael Jordan wore. So these are like retros, but off of the same model, Jordan number eight. And I gotta remember to get my cards out too. Um, with the last release in 2016 of the OG Aquas, you got like a little card with some information on it. So back in the day when shoes used to release, you would get a card with all the numbers on it and a picture or whatnot. But um, yeah, Michael Jordan, number 23, Chicago Bulls, Washington Wizards, um, you know. And if you don't know, check them out. Um, if you're new to the basketball world, if you want to get into um, collecting Jordans for whatever reason, if you're young, older, a lot of times the story is we get these retros. If you're not a reseller um, or a collector, you get them because you remember seeing them when you was a kid and wanting to get them. But the price point of the Jordans, like now, we're looking at shoes is $190, you know, average for Jordans, for the real retro releases. And back then, um, there was even 89 and 129 That was a lot for a pair of shoes versus a regular pair of Nikes or some flights. I mean, you think thinking back then, $89 was a lot for the flights, but sh shoes that was like 40 bucks or 50 bucks, Air Maxes maybe for 69 or 79 But it's just when you got these signature shoes and you wore them, it represented, um, you know, Michael Jordan, the whole culture. Also, it represents um, like you had money in your pocket, right? So um, comment below what it meant for you and if you cop, but let's get into this uh, video. I know y'all love the intro rambling. I know y'all love it. But um, so this is the box for the Jordan Aquas that was released on July the 12th, my birthday, 2019. Uh, the black top. You see the jump man in the infrared, Jordan Air in the back, Air Jordan, uh, and white. And this box um, is sort of like an OG box. And we saw it um, in 2018 with like the Jordan 11 releases. So let's go ahead and check it out. Lay it, comes off. Actually, I'm gonna put this to the side for now. Black paper, plastic rubber. Here you have it, the aqua. Now with me, 
um, I went with a size 11 because my size is nine and a half for men's. And let me quit avoiding the uh, questions or comments. Uh, if you don't know, the Jordan 8 is a men's shoe, but this is actually a women's colorway. So, um, prime example, this color is crisp. I mean, it looks like they stamp men's on it. What, it's aqua with some purple and yellow? You see that all the time in all types of shoes. Um, but in 2007, this was released for women. An exclusive. But a lot of the guys, uh, shout out to DJ Envy. Shout out to a lot of other guys. Um, they got this shoe for themselves. It looks good for the spring and summer, in my opinion. And I also did an on, on feet um, when I got these shoes. And they look crisp with blue jeans. I'm going to check them out with the white jeans in a few minutes. One ninety is the price. That's the information on the box. And let's get that close up so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. And these are still available. I mean, it's a week later. You should have no problems ordering these for retail. And I am a reseller. But only got one pair, so I'm not really sweating it. Um, as far as reselling these to make, what, 20 maybe 40 bucks for somebody who don't know or feel like getting them or just a loyal customer um, is willing to pay for your time and effort but these are available um, for how long I don't know because this is school shopping season is getting ready to start if it hasn't already so a lot of shoes are going to start getting snatched up a lot of shoes going on sale people are going to snatch up um, for the first day or first week of school for themselves, for them, for their kids, for the nieces and nephews, for the godchildren, or not. So you got the bottom, which is going to be um, the purple, aqua, yellow, a little bit of red, red on the jump man. And you also have um, this white midsole. You got the strap, the aqua. You got the little purple tips. Hey, somebody brought to my attention, you have the white flat laces. If these tips had been like purple, aqua, or yellow, or had like a little jump man in purple, that would have been crazy. But you got the tongue, this flush with the globe on it, aqua. And you have the white flat laces, 23 on the straps. With that purple that sort of pops, well, it definitely pops. Inside of the straps. Look at the inside of the shoe. Look at the design and craftsmanship to make that material. And then the inner sock lining or sock booty is purple with the purple pull tab. And you got the jump man on the foot bed in purple. Yeah, and then you got that metallic silver, you already know. So, we'll go ahead and put these on. And this is still basically a stock lace. I didn't relace these yet. Um, so we'll put them on, see how they look. With the slim, skinny jeans um, from Route 21. You know, with the zippers on them or whatnot. Oh, I got the Myrtle Beach joint off in 2018 when I went, which I'll be going back on vacation. So shout out to everybody in South Carolina. All my subscribers. So yeah, loosen them up. These actually feel very good on feet. But you want to make sure you get your foot inside of like this sock liner. Yeah. Crispy. Bottom. These are very comfortable, true to size. 11 is the conversion. Um, 11 in women's. I wear a nine and a half. These are crispy. And 
no complaints whatsoever. Got the 23 popping on the strap. Yeah. All right, so next up, I'm gonna pull out some more eights that are dead stock. These actually released in 2000. Actually, um, June 25th, 2016. One of my favorites. Premium. Alright, so this is going to be um, in a size 10. My true size is 9.5, but I was lucky to get them in a size 10. Um, 250 bucks. Premium, though. So this is worth it. When you're looking at a shoe that's um, 190 bucks and you see one for 250, get ready to show you what you want out of the shoe. Um, so first of all, it's gonna be the light bone, metallic gold and white, 250. You got the little airport right here. Let's check out the box. This is gonna be the um, Jordan 8 gold trophy. You see the Roman numeral 8, that's what we're talking about, Jordan 8. Like these aquas on our feet. So you got the white bone, you got the black, Flip up a little something like this. And you see the gold in the box. Think about how they made the box. All the time and effort for all the different pairs. The paper has eight in Roman numerals stamped on it. In gold. And I got these in a uh, shoe bag. And I think a lot of times people forget the inside of this box. You got the eight with this cork material, which represents like the trophy, the championship. Um, a black pair was released too. Um, so this right here is like the cork that you pop on the champagne. So yeah, pretty neat. All right, so this is like what I call a collector's shoe. I mean, it's crazy. As far as the resale on these, I don't think it's too crazy. I haven't looked. So I would still say probably be 23, 25, 400 bucks. Um, now that's just from like resellers. Not saying that somebody out the blue might have them cheaper or for um, retail. If they're trying to make a sale or make some money or get rid of some shoes in their collection or get rid of their collection. Um, I'm just saying the average retail. And here they go. As you can see, you got a bag full of confetti. Think about it, <laughs> the time and effort to do things like this. And this is a Jordan 8, just like the pair I got on, but premium style, like suit and tie style. So on the bottom, you have this ice and gold, little glitter in it. And you have gold right here with fingerprints. The fingerprints that I'm gonna show you on the shoe represents Michael Jordan holding like the trophy and getting fingerprints all over it or whatnot. And you also see it on the bottom right here, fingerprints. And on the opposite side, on the medial side. You got 23 and brought it on the strap. This color is gonna be white bone and also like um, some metallic hits. You got your strap with Air Jordan on it. You got your globe plush. Now one thing about behind these straps, you got world champions and again and again. So all these details yeah it's sunny out. It's 99 degrees honestly. Um, and on the inside of the foot bag you see more fingerprints because it's gold. The jump man is white and white fingerprints. Let's take a look at this. It's a little throwback action for entertainment purposes. And just in case you never saw these before and you're like, man, I gotta find them, comment below. Um, do your research if anything. Check out Flight Club, Stadium Goods, StockX. Um, somewhere where you know it's gonna be legit no matter what. Um, but yeah, these are crazy. One of my favorite in my collection. The toe box area is new buck. The 
throughout is like soft leather and new buck perforations. And you got premium laces, not super premium, but sort of premium. You got the gold jump man. Pull tab on the back. And I actually thought I had got these in nine and a half, so I could like put them side by side with my Aquas. So you can see um, the similarities. This one got a keychain on it, gold keychain with um, Jordan official and certified authentic classics celebration year. Yeah. Tell me what you think, comment below. And like I said, this was released um, June 25th, 2016. They're called the Jordan 8 Trophies. They came in a pack, well, separately. And I remember you had to draw. We had to draw on Nike when they was doing that a lot. So, uh, yeah. Glitter on the bottom. Amazing sneaker. These are dead stock, so I won't be trying these on. But, let's see how these look. A Nike sock on the slide off. straps so they're made to shoot basketball um, not only to stunt the main purpose is it's a basketball shoe so you want ankle support support when you're on the court comfort you know this was like supposed to be the best technology in a shoe in a sneaker for 1993 which they probably designed it in 1992 it released in 93 in 93 um Jordan was playing with the Chicago Bulls. And 93 also, I think 92, Shaquille O'Neal came into the league. 93 got uh, rookie of the year. So just a little timeline for players that was out uh, during that season, during that year. All right, so this about wraps it up. Comment below if you got any questions. If you want to show love, um, I got my loyal fans that always comment. Appreciate that. Appreciate you supporting the channel. Hit that notification bell. That way you can stay up to date for all my latest unboxing, review videos, also throwback videos, comparison videos. Jordan 8 Aquas on feet once again.